this video, I am going to be sharing with you an absolute money route combo from Trips Tight End that you can use to just easily manipulate and move the ball up and down the field regardless of the defense. Now, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We do new videos like this every single day. I also wanted to let you know that I just released my Trips Tight End offensive guide. So if you want to get access to that, all of the setups, all the money plays, all the route combos, tools and, and, and routes and plays that will literally torch every single defense in the game. I will have to tell you, I've been completing over 95% of my passes since moving to this offense. I think this offense is truly the best offense in the game because it's really good for competitive Madden. And the reason why is because it's high percentage throws. You're going to be able to work the ball down the field at will. And I have just, I've really not been stopped a lot since shifting to this offense. So if you want to get it, there's a link down in the description. Also, real quick, if you've not joined my Patreon, my Patreon allows you to get unlimited access to every single ebook that I release while your subscription is active. So we've released 10 ebooks already. So by signing up for that today, you'll get access to seven offense or defensive guides and three offensive guides. For just ten dollars a month you can cancel that at any time and uh, again you just get unlimited access to everything that we release over there so uh, that being said let's dive into today's video i'm super super excited uh, to talk with you today about one of my favorite concepts out of this and honestly you could do this out of any play but the play that i like to do this out of the most um because it is probably the easiest play to do it out of is the pa counter go I love the blocking animation that you're going to get from that play action animation. That play action animation is going to allow you to pick up probably 75% of the meta blitzes that you're going to be facing. The dollar three to six, the pinch to uh, a lot of that stuff doesn't really work that well against trips tight end because of the alignment of the formation and the use of a tight end and a running back in a lot of play action plays that are going to kind of manipulate blitz angles. So that being said, PA counter goes, we're going to show this out of, but again, you can do this out of a lot of different plays. Um, this is my go-to play. If they're going to run a lot of man, this is my go-to change up play. It's probably my number two play that I would call in a game. And the reason why is because of the fact that we're just going to be able to work the ball up and down the field. So the setup for this is relatively simple. All we're going to do is we are going to take the inside slot on the left and we're going to put him on a slant. We're going to take the solo or the uh, the tight end on the right and we're going to put him on a post. Now you need tight end apprentice for this uh, or hot route master, okay? So if you're in regs, run with the Bucks or run with the Raiders, right? You could do that as well. You could also run, I think you can run this with the Chiefs as well. There's a couple of other tight ends that will get uh, tight end apprentice. And then take triangle, uh, the outside slot receiver, and go ahead and put him on a flat route. And what you're going to see here is your first read is going to be your quick slant right over the middle. You're going to see here, he gets open a lot. Just a simple pass right there, real easy. This is, again, we're going to show it against a couple different coverages. This is how it works against man. So we're going to let that play action animation go. Now, my favorite route on the play is the tight end post. Favorite route on the play. Now, here's why. Because most people, when they see trips tight end, the first thing that they're going to do is they are going to put their flats on 30 and they're going to put their curl flats on 10. And the reason they're going to do that is because a lot of people out of trips tight end, myself included, when they come down and PA counter go, they're going to do this right here. Um, and they're going to run this deep crosser on the right and they're going to try to just, you know, dot them up. So they're going to put their flats on 30, right? The beauty of the tight end post is it's not a five or 10 yard route, but at the same time, it's not a 30 yard route. It's about a 20 yard post. And so what you see here is this just gets so open. Now, the other thing that I really like about PA counter go is it has this fade route on the left side and this fade route, if they're not playing two man under and they try to press that guy, all you're gonna do is just throw that to the left and you're gonna see right here that Brady is nine times out of 10, any quarterback will be able to make that throw over the top. So if you see that you get a, a press win animation or you just get a good release off the ball, then you can throw that. If not, then you can easily just check it down to Gronkowski. Now, how does this play work against zone? Well, let me just shift for just a second and come over here to the nickel 325 wide. And we're gonna just set up a basic kind of Mabel uh, concept here. And we're gonna show you how this works. So what you're going to see is, now this will cover the tight end post just a signet, but you see how open that tight end post is? That's what's going to happen in game. Um, unless they're putting their zone drops at 20 or 15, um, that post is going to be open. Because again, I'm at the 20, if you think about it. Think about zone drops for a second. I'm at the 20. Right? 
So that's or, uh, so where this tight end post is going to be delivered at is going to be about the 40-yard line. And there's not a lot of zones that are going to – those stock zones really don't get back there. The one stock zone that does get back there um, is, a, is a cloud. But I'll show you that. So if they're running like Tampa 2 – you see how that cloud can kind of get back there, but by the time the tight end gets over there, and this is why we use that flat route from the outside slot, there Gronkowski got a little held up. But the reason we use this, um, the reason we use this flat route from the outside slot here, is because what you're going to notice is after that guy passes that guy off to the vertical, he'll actually shoot down. See how he shot down right there? Now right there, like I said, you know the cloud is the zone that's going to get back there. But again, just for a moment, I want you to kind of come back and look at everything that we're doing in this concept and why I really do enjoy running this play because we, we haven't even talked about the importance of this flat route. It's importance of the flat route is for two things. The first thing is, if you're going to see here, if they're not playing hard plus, we'll just pass like that up, and I'll take that six yards. Just keep the offense on schedule with that. It's really, really simple. Now, on the back side, the other thing that we didn't talk about is, again, this is why I like this so much against Mabel Coverage. Because if they're playing Mabel Coverage, it's likely that they're going to be playing their, their purples at five or whatever. This slant route is going to get right underneath that or over the top of that, depending on the zone. So I'll show you an example. We're going to shift back over to the nickel 335 wide. If you want to, you could put your running back on a um, – you could put your running back on – We'll just get that guy out of the way. Uh, you can put your running back on a block and release route so that if they blitz, he'll block, but if they don't, he'll just check to the flat. But what you'll see here is that, that flat uh, or that, that slant, most people are going to be playing 30 yard, um, they're going to be playing 30 yard clouds and they're going to be playing um, like five yard purples, right? To try to take away the underneath and the deep. But what you're going to see here is a slant, if you let it run, it'll get over the top of that. And it's going to go at about 10 to 15 yards. So that's the beauty of this play and how it works so well against against pretty much every coverage in the game. Um, cover four, this is just going to be a great beater. Uh, again, you're looking at your flat. If that's not there, look up to your post. And as you can, I mean, it's just real simple. It's a simple two-man read mainly. Uh, but one of the most simple plays, but the beauty of trips tied in, because of the spacing, the user has a really hard time because if they – it, you're just reading the user. The user, nine times out of ten, is going to take the slant, and the post for the tight end is going to be wide open. If they take the post, the slant, nine times out of ten, is going to be open. If everything else fails, if everything fails, what you can easily do with this play, and this is why I really like this play, let's say everything fails, just throw it away. And you see how that's going to throw it right that flat, so you're not going to get intentional groundings. That's another reason why this is such a good, powerful concept because we can always just live to we can always just live to fight another down, right? If our post is there, we'll take it. If it's not there, we'll just have to fight another down. But I love this play. I think everyone should be running trips tight end. So if you want to learn exactly how I run the trips tight end offense, I'm going to put a link to that in the description below. You can get the entire offense for just fifteen dollars. Also, I did want to quickly remind you that if you've not joined the Patreon yet, I would encourage you to do that. Reason why is because you're not just going to get one ebook, but you're going to get every ebook as long as your subscription is active. You get unlimited access to everything for just 10 bucks a month, super cheap, and it's going to get you access to, in my opinion, the best material that you can find uh, for schemes, offensive guides, defensive guides, all that stuff. So thanks for watching the video, and I'm going to put those links down in the description, and hopefully I'll get those in the comment section as well. Thanks a lot, and we'll see you guys later.